Okay, so we're going to draw Antarctica. Um, if you guys still have your crosshatch okay. overlay. That's at the center. Okay, well, you, know, you can go ahead and slide this right into the crosshatch to okay. see how things work. But you can see how this works, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to today draw Australia and New Zealand, which is almost off the page, and Antarctica. Okay, you guys have one week to do this, but it's relatively easy compared to Africa that we just finished, right? And then next week we will discuss Polynesia and the micro um, Polynesia and all of the uh, archipelago nations that are over here. So, one of the easiest ways I've heard of to draw Australia is it's a dog and a cat looking in opposite directions. So if you think more like a terrier style dog, coming out here and then down, right? I think of it more like a very narcissist head. Okay. And then up in Yeah, you just curve. finished drawing the snout. Uh-huh. And then, and then there's the over here thing. we've got kind of a cat face, you know, so a cat doesn't have a very broad nose, right? And then we come up here, we've got a pointed ear on the cat side. And over here we've got kind of one of those half floppy ears. And there you go. We've got the basis for Australia. And mm -hmm. tiny triangle. Yeah. I mean, it's not the best Australia on the planet, but we are learning. Now, Tasmania will be down here, and it kind of looks like a half. There's two Tasmanias. Mm, what do you mean? There's one in Africa. Mm, there's a Tanzania in ah. Africa. This is Tasmania. Okay. Okay, and then over here, and it actually should be way over here, so I'm going to draw it over here. I'm cheating. Okay, so I would kind of draw a curved line like this because it's two islands. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the bottom one has kind of a, you know, a bay here, and then it comes down and out, kind of like a long. Yeah, it kind of looks to me like a uh, long neck, a slug. Okay, if it looks like a slug to you, to me, I was going to say like a long neck jar. Or a base, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then up here at the top, it's kind of like... A uh, boot of Italy. Uh, well, a boot of Italy, okay. So you're going to have this kind of mirror image here. It's not exact. And then up here... I think it looks like a uh, polygon. So this is New Zealand. Not so. New Zealand has its capital here, and I believe its capital. I can't believe this. I did this last night. I can't remember. But you know that just goes to show. Sometimes, Wellington, as probably as in Duga. Okay. So the first. Good. Okay, so we're going to do the six states of Australia. The first state is to come here just past the dog's ear and go straight down. This is Western Australia. And Western Australia has its capital here at Perth, where the U.S. English and Dutch submarines were stationed during World War II. Okay, we're going to start here kind of in the middle and go across, but don't go any further than the tall cat's ear, okay? And once you get to the tallest cats here, we're going to kind of come straight down. And then here in between, we're going to come straight down here. Got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, double checking my map. That makes sense. Okay, so this is West Australia. This is the Northern Territory. And this is Southern Australia, I think. South Australia. Capitals? Mm hmm. Okay, so the capital of the Northern Territory is Darwin, as in Charles. Darwin. I don't know if it's it named. named. I don't know if it's named for Darwin specifically, but that's a good way to remember it, right? Mm -hmm. Charles Darwin. Yep. All right, and then South is named Adelaide, and it is named for the Queen of England, the wife of William the Fourth, I believe. Okay. And 
And then, right around here-ish, you're going to go across, and right before you get to the end, you're kind of going to make a wiggle. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, like one of those breakup things? Breakup things? Yeah, in like a timeline thing? Um, oh, okay, yeah, no, kind of. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. Sure, this is Queensland. Queensland. Mm-hmm. Queensland is Brisbane here on the coast. Another big submarine base in World War II. You can see my previous job showing, right? And then about halfway through this border between now South Australia and these, we're going to make this kind of wiggly line going down to this point. Okay? And then we're going to make this teardrop shape there. So far so good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the north southernmost, yep, just double checking. Okay, so this is Victoria, as in Queen Vic. Victoria's capital is Melbourne, as I believe there was. It's, he's either a politician, I believe he's a politician. Okay, and then this section here is New Can you South down? Wales. Mm -hmm. And New South Wales is at Sydney. North, North. South West. And Sydney is the capital of Australia. It is not. North South West. Oh, it's, not. it's not, but it is the capital of New South Wales. New South West. Sure. North South West. Okay, but that's New South Wales, just so you, and yeah. you remember Wales is part of England. New, New South West. Or North South West. That teardrop shape is their capital territory, just like we have the District of Columbia, and inside the District of Columbia is Washington City. This is the capital territory. And inside the capital territory is the national capital, which is Canberra. It might be Canberra. I'm not exactly certain how it's pronounced, but what's the teardrop thing? That's the that this is the national no, territory, the, the capital territory. Yeah, Australian capital territory, and its capital is Canberra. Right here. Oh, Please this down here. Down. Uh -huh. That's Tasmania. Please okay. slow down. Okay. When we get home, when we are, can we go to Maya? Can we drop off at Maya to get my new shoes? These are really not liking. But that's fine. Thank you for telling me. some things you already notice about the what positioning of the capitals. They're the mostly near seaports. the border. They're all on seaports. Canberra is the exception. That's why I said they're mostly. Mm -hmm. And Tasmania's capital, I'm guessing, is on the border. Tasmania too. also has a capital, and you're right. It is on, it's called Hobart, and it's over here. So there, we now have Australia with Tasmania, we have New Zealand with Wellington, and now we need Antarctica. So if you have a crosshair, you're going to want the crosshair to be, you know, Antarctica is going to be in the southern half. I used the post-it note. Good. Okay, well. The post-it note coming off this. You're going to have a big arc here to match Australia, okay? And then you're going to come in here for a harbor, a second big arc. So to me, this kind of looks like a sand dollar with a little bite there. Mm -hmm. And with a long yes. horn over here on this side, we're going to come deep With the long corner. Mm, okay, and then out. And now we are going to- Make the corner 
of Make Antarctica. this kind of curvy tail. The it kind of looks like Antarctica. a genie bottle smoke. Okay, smoke if that helps you. Mm -hmm. So this is Antarctica, I and the South Pole will be right oh, there. Oh wait, if I turn it mm -hmm. sideways, then I kind of see a swan okay. with a wiggly beak. Now over here, this curve here kind of mirrors this curve of what would be the south of South America. Or maybe like a sitting turkey. And then over here would be the southern tip of Africa. So you can see kind of its orientation on the world. Yeah. Now there is no capital of Australia thanks to the Antarctic Treaty. Um, I believe that to Antarctica. No one is permitted to um, set up military, exploit anything, dig up any minerals, although that will probably be contested within certainly your Did you make a hotel in the very middle of, of Antarctica for yeah. everybody? To I, use? I don't know. Now, I do know that this tail of Antarctica, this peninsula here, it does have quite a few um, permanent scientific stations, so much so that there are seven churches just in this little area, mm -hmm. including two Orthodox churches, because I had to draw one for a book I was illustrating. Um, and some of them are very, very ornate. The One of the ones was actually built out of logs in Russia and then dismantled piece by piece and brought here to Antarctica and rebuilt on site. It's close enough that you can actually get baptized as an Orthodox Christian if you so chose in the ocean here. They have oh. had weddings there, and there are penguins that are frequently around that church. Ooh. And polar bears, probably. Polar bears are not in the southern hemisphere, only in the northern. Ah. So, are there um, so, probably mummified animals? Well, we, we don't know because there's so much ice in Antarctica, we don't actually know too much about any um, fossils that may be down here. It is true that sometimes the ice does retreat um, and you can see some of the land, but a lot of it is just shrouded in ice. So it's really difficult for us to make those sort of judgments. And that's some of the things that all of those, when we're looking at the big map, that's what a lot of those science stations, some of them might be doing that. Okay. Can you put some of the, uh, the main science stations in? Sure. There's where most of them are, actually. <laughs> Okay, so some of the features here. We have a mountain range going down the cat's side of Australia. Or this is back to the rhinoceros's head. Sure. This is called the Great Dividing Range. Going from the tip of Mount Kosciuszko, the tallest mountain in Australia, is kind of right there. Does anyone know about Ayers Rock, or as it's now been christened as its original name, Uluru? Mm -hmm. Has anyone ever seen that picture of that really big red rock with the mounded sides in Australia? It's very famous. It's right about here. Okay. Now down here, we have the Antarctic Circle which basically skirts right around here. Make sure I've got this correct. And Touches inside and pops out. So this is the Antarctic circle. And the middle of Antarctica is in the middle of that circle. Yep, South Pole. And this ocean around Antarctica is the Southern Ocean. Is out here. Does anybody know 
where the Great Barrier Reef is. Yes. Where? By Darwin. Right? Mm, other side. Oh. It's along here. Yeah, I knew where that was because I have an Australian quiz that I have that, that I have been doing recently. There's Great also barrier. a lake. I there's a muddy river, a Darwin River, a Victorian River. I'm gonna just add those in. Well, if you want to add rivers, I don't think there are any. Yes, they are. On our on our list, you are more than welcome to add more. I'm not saying they aren't there. I'm saying they're not on their list. Okay. A couple other things that they want us to put in that are on your list in here: the McDonald Range, Cook Straits. So James Cook sails to Australia and Antarctica. This is the Cook Strait between North and South New Zealand. This here is the Bass Strait. Now, between Tasmania and New Zealand is the Tasman Sea. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. This arch here is the Great Australian Basin. Bites, B I G H T. Well, the Great right. Australian uh, Bite. Great Australian <coughs> Basin is right by that range. <coughs> There's also a McDonald Range. Okay. Now, up here, this would be Papua New Guinea, mm -hmm. right? And we have all of the Polynesian There's and Archipelago things over here. This is the Coral Sea. A very famous battle took place up here. And an Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is over here. In between the dog ear and the cat ear is the Gulf of Oman. No Carpentaria. Hmm. Gulf of Oman is in Europe. Asia. Mm. Middle East. Yeah. Gulf of Carpentaria. And let me double check our list here. Right? And above here, this sea separating the ears of Australia from New Guinea is the Arafura Sea. Mm -hmm. Cook straight the McDonald's Coral Sea. Range. Great Australian the Bight. Great Barrier Reef. Range. And the Gulf of Carpentaria. Indian Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Tasman Sea. Ah, the Timor Sea. That's going to be over here. And if you remember Timor Lest, or Timor Timor West is, is up here. Okay. The Tropic of Capricorn. Make sure I've got this right. It's basically going to run from right where the nose of the cat turns all the way through to where the nose of the dog goes. So that's the Tropic of Capricorn. Okay, now yeah, for everything else, so many Australian features. It's all and been doing an deserts. Australian features. Question. Yes. How is Australia hot but Antarctica is cold? Well, again, this is really hard to see. Kind of the um, the distance. I've gotten too close. Oh. Mm -hmm. Remember that the Tropic of Capricorn is at one third. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then this part will actually be in analogous to us in the, um, oh, you're going to make me think of the word. Basically, it's not tropical. We have four seasons. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of deserts over here that they want us to look at. Okay? Mm -hmm. So maybe sometime this week when you look at this, you're going to want to figure out a, a mnemonic device. So... We have the Great Victoria Desert. Can you imagine who was queen when they were naming this sucker? I mean, she's plastered all over here. No. Above the Great Victoria Desert is the Gibson Desert. Moving in a circle, 
because this was just the best name for a desert, we have the Great Sandy Desert. Because why not? <laughs> then over here we have in the Northern Territory we have the Tanami Desert. And we have the Simpson Desert. Simpson? Uh-huh. Oh. And you notice they're kind of going around this area that has Uluru in it. So this area is called the Great Western Plateau. It's not on your list, but there you have it. Uh, there's a there's a basin by the Great Darling Range. The Darling Range or the Dividing Range? The dividing Range. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's on your... She has been doing the Cetera. Can you tell? Okay, so there we go. That what about the McDonald Range? The what? The McDonald Range. It's not on our list, but where is it? You're more than happy. You're more than welcome to come up here, dear. Yeah. Mark of the Ranges. Uh, we were using pink. This this area here is the. Relate? Over down here. No. Okay. From range. Cool. All right, thank you. All right, so we have one week, but it's only this. You guys think you can do this? Yeah. Okay. I will try to post this tonight. <laughs>